Hey YouTube! So I am here to do the popular rapid fire on the cusp um, VR. But before I get into that, um, I wanted to ask a question, which is relevant to a video that I'll do probably Friday or next Tuesday. Um, so there is a point to this and also, um, well, okay, so here's the question. Here I am, this is me. Ooh, uh, if you don't know the answer to this, uh, how old would you guess that I am? Now, disclaimer, uh, I do not think that younger is better than older. So, um, like at all, like I really, really, really don't. That is just not, I actually find that framework ridiculous. And whenever somebody's like, oh my God, I look old. I'm like, mm, so? Um, so like, I won't be offended by any answer. I'm like genuinely curious if you saw me on the street, uh, how old would you think I am? So answer in the comments. And also just a bit of housekeeping. Um, I have not been perfect about the twice a week um, videos. Lately, I had my partner visiting from Seattle and a lot of work stuff. And I hate that on YouTube, there's no way, unless you have a ton of subscribers and you have that community tab, there's no way to like put a text note that just says, oh, I'm gonna be, you know, off this week or something. Um, so, you know, I haven't disappeared when that happens. Um, I try my best to get to a week up. I've been doing the like Sims 4 thing. Uh, you may have seen in your feed on weekends, but I know most people are have no interest in that. Uh, so I'm trying to get two additional videos up every week. Um, so yeah, bear with me. Uh, all right, here's the VR. So this was um, On The Cusp Tarot, a relatively new channel, um, created this hashtag rapid fire on the cusp. So this is just a rapid fire list of questions. Um, it's 10 specific ones from this channel and then the inside the actor studio questions. Um, so number one, what is your astrology sign? I am a Cancer Moon and Rising and a Pisces Sun. Two, what is your Chinese horoscope animal? Mine is the ox. Three, what is your Patronus slash what animal best describes you or connects with you the most? So I don't think they mean like the actual Patronus when you take the quiz, but that's what I'm going to give because I don't really have a particular animal that I relate to necessarily. That is the gray squirrel. Um, if any animal, I guess I would relate to one that has a shell, um, but I don't know specific animals. My favorite animal is the hippopotamus, fun fact. Um, Four, favorite color is pink, bright pink. Like if you see my bed, that, there we go, behind me, <laughs> that color. Um, five, favorite food, french fries with vegan mayo. Um, six, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, for a second, I thought I went from six to eight. Seven, where are you living? I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. And I actually found out uh, and one of the people I follow is also in the DC area. So if anybody's DC metro area, let me know. We should hang out. Um, number eight, pet peeve. Ooh, so I kind of hate this one about me, but I have a lot of grammar pet peeves and I don't like them because I think grammar pet peeves are a little bit elitist or just like, it's not fair to expect somebody to um, be perfect in English grammar. Uh, that's not a fair expectation, but I, I do have some grammar pet peeves it is kind of really hard for me to hear less and fewer get confused. That's probably the biggest one at the moment. Uh, nine, coffee or tea? Absolutely tea. Where is my mug? Oh, I don't have my mug because it's really funny. I'll show you on a different video. Um, 10, what tarot oracle or playing card deck do you really want to buy next? The ones I want the most are all out of print. Um, uh, the next... I, see, I just bought a bunch, so I mean, even though I already did it, I'm going to say the one I was most excited for on Kickstarter was the Spacious Tarot. Um, okay, so now the inside the Actor Studio one. So number 11, what's your favorite word? Um, wow, what is my favorite word? Maybe ennui. I like ennui. I think that's just like cool. It's not a cool thing, but it's like a thing that is... I'm glad there's a word for it. Um, least favorite word, 12. What is my least favorite word? Um, I'm not bothered by moist. I feel like that's a lot of people's least favorite word. 
Oh, anal. I really don't like it when people say someone is anal, meaning like super uptight because it just, I'm like, oh, anal, no. Um, 13, what turns you on? Um, curiosity? Um, hearing about people's special interests, whether that's special interest in the, the specific context, folks use that um, in the context of autism, um, but like even outside of that, just whatever people's thing is, um, I love hearing about people's thing. Uh, 14, what turns you off? Arrogance, white male privilege. Um, 15, favorite curse word, fuck. Um, 16, what sound or noise do you love? Uh, waves, I love the, the sound of waves. Um, 17, sound or noise you hate? In my alley, which is right, like I, I am on the fourth floor, it overlooks an alley and there's trash and recycling trucks and they do not come, this sounds like hyperbole, they really do not come at a specific time. It could be any day, any time, they don't seem to have a schedule, it's just when I'm on a conference call and it's loud and they bang and it's really hard for me to hear, it doesn't bother other people, but I have auditory processing disorder so it sucks when I'm on a call and that happens. Uh, 18, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Um, one of the ones that in my heart and soul I'm so sad is not my profession is choreographer. Um, I've always choreographed in my head. Um, I had one chance to actually choreograph for a show, but in general, there is a lot of what I would consider discrimination against certain types of bodies in that usually if you're a choreographer, you have to get to a certain level of dance and it, not really based on ability to like keep up, but based on, um, you know, whether your leg goes as high as other people's, it's very hard to get to, a, to the level in dance at which you can then be a choreographer. And I think that's bullshit. Um, I think I'm a great choreographer and in my head, whenever I hear music, I'm always choreographing dance. Um, so fun fact, uh, 19, what profession would you not like to do? The one that springs to mind immediately because we have these in our organization is community organizer. I just am not a good, like an on the ground, talking to tons of people kind of person. I hate large groups. Um, so also like any kind of event planning or something like that that involves a lot of large groups and a lot of like on the fly conversation would not work for me. Um, and then finally 20, if heaven exists, what would you like God to say when you arrive at the pearly gates? This question is so so, so outside of my worldview that I like cannot answer it. Like the idea of, and, and like no offense to anybody who does believe in this, but the idea of dying and then there's someone who says something to me, like it just does not make sense. So I'm gonna like adjust it a little and say like, what if like, what would I like in my obituary or at my funeral or like what would I like people to say about me? Um, I think just like that I made people think about interesting new things. We'll go with that. So there you go. Um, the hashtag is rapid fire on the cusp if you want to see other tarot tubers responses to these questions. And uh, again, um, if you would leave a comment and let me know how old do you think I am, it's relevant to the next video. All right.